Good morning students as you all know in this video we are going to discuss chapter number 10 flow charting and as it is over you all know this chapter is logical right this two terms we had seen first uh, first of all it's algorithms what are algorithms they are set of instructions to perform a specific task and second we uh, we had seen flow charts flow charts are pictorial or diagrammatic representation of the problem solving process so whatever steps you have made in algorithms if you convert those steps in pictorial form it becomes a flow chart now these are some symbols which you need to know when you are drawing any flow chart the very first symbol is start or stop box it is also called as a terminal symbol and it is a kind of an oval okay second symbol is process you have to draw a rectangle for showing any process third one is input and output box it is a parallelogram fourth one is a decision box it is a diamond symbol when you have to choose between two options okay then you indicate it by a diamond symbol and the last one is flow lines uh, flow lines are four directional arrows only and it shows the flow of logic in any flow chart these are simple rules of flow charting the general direction of flow in any flow chart is from top to bottom or from left to right arrow heads are used to indicate the flow of information or sequence of events a flow chart should have only one start and one stop box the steps should be arranged in sequence now by following these rules and using the symbols we had drawn three flow charts right first one was find out the sum and average of two numbers cube of a given number and third one is find out largest of two numbers okay students remember if you want to master drawing flow charts you need to think logically okay and you will be able to get the flow chart i hope you all are doing well and safe at your home bye everyone